Ooh, this might work. So, I'm turning 25 in a few weeks, and I'm determined to find the perfect 80s-inspired outfit to celebrate my birthday And Now, I'm a vintage-loving girl, so I love Madonna, and it represents the decade I was born in, so I thought, how fun would it be to thrift a Madonna-inspired outfit as worn by Sarah Jessica Parker herself? Now, there's a lot going on in this look. I definitely have my work cut out for me. I have to get a hair bow, accessories, a bustier, a corset, a plaid shirt, mesh sleeves, a tool skirt, leggings, bag, and shoes. With all of this going on, where do I even start? Well, the essence of the outfit is in the tool skirt and the bustier. Those are the pieces that are really important to find. However, they're not everyday wear, so they're gonna be a little bit difficult to thrift. I'm definitely putting my thrifting skills to the test. I remember from the 80s that tulle was a popular material to create an A-line skirt under prom dresses, a lot like this one. There's so much tulle here, it's way too much. However, I did find a better option in this black velvet dress. Check it out. It is just the right amount of tulle. It's a tulle skirt, and what I can do is I can use my uh, scissors and I can cut along the seam like so, and then I can wear this tulle skirt as a standalone piece. I checked out the lingerie section to find that awesome bustier. Didn't have too much luck, however, I found this bustier look-alike. She's got prominent bra cups, lace embroidery, a tiny little bow, these hearts over this sexy sheer material. It's a really nice piece of lingerie. And ultimately, the key element to matching this look, bustier or not, is that we're wearing undergarments on the outside. Sarah's plaid shirt, it's a crop top with cut off sleeves, so what I can do to recreate that look is take a long sleeve plaid shirt, snip off the sleeves, cut down the center, and then cut off a couple of those extra added inches, and what that will do is create frayed edges and give me a touch of 80s punk. I could be like any other girl and wear a pair of black pumps, or I could rock sexy ankle booties. I think you guys know which pair I'm gonna choose. So many pink bags. I have this mohair one, shaggy carpet, bubblegum pink. Definitely have enough choices for a handbag to match the look. Now the thing is, I'm not digging any of them. What I'm gonna do is stay true to the 80s and I am going to go with this vintage one-of-a-kind handbag. It has this awesome crocodile here and I know that it's definitely 80s because when you open it up you see that it opens with hinges instead of a zipper which is what you'll see in purses more often today. Finding a corset in a thrift store, it's pretty hard. So what I want to do instead is to mimic the function of a corset of creating a cinched waist with a little black belt. This leather one can definitely get the job done. I also found this elastic belt, stretches like this, and it has this great shell buckle. What I would want to do when wearing it is turn the shell buckle around and just show the back. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with yet, so I think I'm going to try them both on in the changing room and we'll see which one works best. I know that this 80s Madonna inspired look isn't for everyone, but I like to costume it up on events like my birthday because it inspires me to have a really good time. It makes them more memorable. I'm not sure how far I want to push the envelope yet though, so I did hedge and I have another option. But here's the first one. If you want to go all 80s, this is my Madonna inspired look down to bangles that shake and shimmy, a couple of strands of pearl necklaces and also a metal necklace as an added touch. Uh, silver hoop earrings. What I did is I DIY'd a mesh top so that I just had these sleeves. DIY'd the plaid print long sleeve shirt so it hangs like a crop top. I have my bustier lookalike lingerie piece, the black belt that doubles as a corset, the tulle skirt, lace leggings that are white and match this awesome leather bag that I picked up, and the ankle booties. I think I look pretty good. I'm ready to rock a night out on the town. Now for option number two. I modernized the look by substituting the tulle skirt with a classic black leather skirt. It's a great addition to anyone's wardrobe, no matter the decade. Now I'm not sure which look I'm going to go with, and I would love if you guys could help me out. How you can do that is by clicking the link below and voting for which outfit you think I should wear to celebrate my 25th birthday.